Hello, welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2019 69 Reg G20 330e M Sport. The car is presented in mineral grey, features a YNC body enhancement kit alongside some nice options and features. How you see the car is how you'll purchase it and if you would like to know more you are of course able to go ahead and use the links in the description box. But of course let's get into talking about this plug-in hybrid 3 series. As part of the in-house enhancement kit, we've added the brand new 20 inch alloy wheels with four brand new tires. We've also added front splitter and a matching gloss black kidney grills, side sill extensions, YNCM performance decals, rear spoiler and a rear diffuser alongside the aero mirror caps. So a great looking example of the plug-in hybrid 3 series along with some great spec which we'll get into and show you in a moment. Round towards the rear then, we have got the 3D rear lights, plus of course both the diffuser and rear spoiler. You get front and rear parking sensors along with the camera. The diffuser can be upgraded to one of our quad exhaust diffusers if you'd wish so. So if you check about the fifth image along within the advert, you'll be able to see all of the details for one of those. Or of course, if you'd prefer, do get in touch and we'll run you through all of the information. Boot area is the only place of slight compromise with a E-Drive model over a regular petrol or diesel model. Only a very, very minute amount of compromise, just a little bit of boot depth loss, but of course you still have your folding rear seats. Provided there is the BMW charging cable, and this makes things really nice and simple in terms of accessibility, as it is a regular household three-pin socket that is provided. So, of course, that pretty much gives you limitless area of charging. Charge time takes around about three to four hours from a regular household socket. Now, that will depend on when and how you are charging it. Fast chargers are becoming more and more regularly available and are also now available to have installed at your home. So, of course, that will significantly reduce the charge time. You still have a very comfortable, very spacious 3C Isofix rear bench. And it hasn't lost any interior space again over its petrol or diesel alternative the front seats are both heated you've still got that wonderful ambient lighting this 330e has also been equipped with the technology package so we do benefit from harman Kardon amongst, amongst some other great features which again once i take a seat inside in a moment we'll show you this here is how you'll charge the car up simply plug it in there and allow the car to take care of itself once the car has a fully charged set of batteries, you can expect a electric range of around about 37 to 40 miles of pure electric range. And again, that will vary on driving style, driving condition, and a few other varying factors. But again, those figures should easily be obtainable. Inside, we've got the multifunction M Sport steering wheel. We've got cruise control, speed limiter, sports auto gearbox. So again, it hasn't lost any of that M Sport magic. You have got a live cockpit display with the E-Drive e touch to that. It's covered just over 43,000 miles. We've got this lovely touchscreen nav and media setup, which is very, very handy indeed, especially when finding points of interest, including charging stations as you can see there but well, it's not essential because of course you still have got a two litre turbocharged petrol engine in the front of this car and as you can see plenty of multimedia including dab music collection usb lining as well as other features which will come along with the apple carplay and android auto it is also equipped with go ahead and check the other applications so if we go into installed apps, you can see you've got eDrive Zone, which is very, very clever bit of kit. It just automatically switches the car into selected towns and cities that you'd wish to. Down here, we've got the dual auto climate control, heated front seats. The car isn't due a service for 16,000 miles and does come with extensive service history with BMW. The last service was actually a major one, meaning that the next service will only be a very, very minor oil and oil filter change. We have also got a rear facing camera with front and rear sensors. Wireless charging tray and heads up display also as part of that 
technology package I was mentioning. So that is a look around this superb example of the G20 330E M Sport. And again, if you would like more information, do simply go ahead and use the provided links in the description box. But for the meantime, thanks. Bye-bye.